Good day everyone! It's me again, your teacher, Marlene Luno, and I'm going to discuss about the right triangle similarity theorem. So the focus of our discussion is all about the right triangles. Now to start, let us describe the right triangle similarity theorem. In a right triangle, the altitude to the hypotenuse divides the triangle into two similar triangles and each similar to the original triangle. Let us have the illustration. We have our triangle ABC where angle B is our right angle and the side AC is the hypotenuse. So we draw a segment that is perpendicular from angle B going down to the hypotenuse. And this is our segment PD. Now to show the similarity of the original triangle to the two similar triangles, let us have this illustration. So we separate the three triangles like this. Triangle ABC is the original triangle. If that is divided by our segment BD, it is resulted to we have this triangle BDC and the smallest one is triangle ADB. So, triangle ABC is similar to triangle BDC and is also similar to triangle ADB. Now, to further understand the right triangle similarity theorem, let us have this illustration. So, given the triangle GRA is a right triangle with angle GRA as right angle, segment GA as the hypotenuse, and RY as the altitude to the hypotenuse of the triangle GRA. So we have to prove that triangle GRA is similar to triangle GYR and is similar to triangle RYA. So let us have our proof. Statement number one, we have GRA is a right triangle with angle GRA as right angle and the segment GA as the hypotenuse and segment RY as the altitude to the hypotenuse. So that is indicated in our given. Then, we have that segment RY is perpendicular to segment GA. So that is definition of altitude, the perpendicularity. Then we can say that angle GYR and angle RYA are right angles. That is the definition of perpendicular lines. So, angle GYR is congruent to angle RYA and is congruent to angle GRA. That is by definition of right angles. So, angle YGR is congruent to angle RGA. And also, angle YAR is congruent to angle RAG. That is by reflexive property. Therefore, triangle GRA is similar to triangle RYG and is similar to triangle RYA. That is by AA similarity to red. Now, let us have more examples. Can you name the three similar triangles in our figure? 
Okay, we have the original one, which is the triangle BCA. Then, we have triangle CHA and is similar to triangle BHC, the smallest triangle. Now, to easily understand the topic, let us have this. So, write the proportion that exists among the corresponding parts of similar triangle. So, in the figure, let us have another figure. So, this is the original one to illustrate us B, C, A. And then, let us draw the smaller triangle and labeled as C, H, A. And of course, the smallest triangle which is labeled as B, H, C. So if we draw the triangle separately, we can easily observe the corresponding parts of the three triangles. So we're going to write the proportions from the original triangle to the smaller triangle to the smallest triangle. Now try to look at this proportion. We have BC, which is the shortest part, to AC, which is the longer leg. So the same thing with our smaller triangle, we have CH to AH. And from the smallest triangle, we have BH to CH. Now, let us look at the second possibility. We have AC, the longer leg, to AB, which is the hypotenuse. So, similarly, we can use in the second triangle, AH to AC. And that is equal to the smallest triangle, wherein we have CH to CB. And this is the last possibility. Our AB or the hypotenuse to BC, which is the shortest leg. So in the second triangle, we have AC to CH. And the smallest triangle, we have CB to BH. Now, let us have this example. In each of the following triangle, identify the following. The shorter leg, longer leg, and hypotenuse. The similar triangles and the proportional sides. So, let us start with the shorter legs, longer leg, and the hypotenuse. So, in our triangle, the shorter legs are DE for the original one. Then, we have AD for the smaller triangle and AE for the smallest triangle. For our longer leg, we have DF in our original triangle. Then we have AF in the smaller triangle and AD for the smallest triangle. And of course, for the hypotenuse, we can easily identify the longest side are EF, then we have DF and DE. Now, let us answer the similar triangles. For the similar triangles, we have triangle FBE, and that is similar to triangle FAD, and is similar to triangle DAE. Can you follow? Now, for the last one, let us look for the proportional sides. There are three possibilities. So, we have 
ED is to DF and that is equal to DA is to AF and is equal to AE is to DA. So we use the same pattern. We have the shortest side to the longer leg. For the second possibility, we have the F, the longer leg, to FE, which is the hypotenuse. So we have AF to FD is equal to AD to DE. And the last one, we have FE, which is the hypotenuse, to DE, which is the shorter leg is equal to FD to DA and is equal to DE to AE. Well, that's all for my discussion. It's time for me to check how well do you know. In right triangle theorem, it is important to draw the segment perpendicularly on right angle to the hypotenuse. But what is perpendicular? Can you describe it? Well, that's all I can share. If you have some questions or clarification, let me know by writing your comment below. And please, keep on watching my YouTube channel, Teacher Marlene Luno. And do subscribe and hit the notification bell for the updates of my video lessons. Thank you for watching. God bless everyone.